And as you know, Jeff Stewart, the president and co-owner of the Restoration Network in Alberta, has joined us many times to talk about his love for the Montreal Canadiens. We call him a Habs super fan. And so each and every time when the Habs are really heavy underdogs, he's come on and he's talked about how they would win the series. And after the last one, the Golden Knights, I'm like, well, that's the, that's the end of Stew Ball. It's the last we'll see of him. <laughs> Won't be seeing that jersey at the Restoration Network studios. And boom, here we are. He's back again because tonight, to start the Stanley Cup Finals, it is the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Montreal Canadiens, and the Habs have disproved everyone again, proven them wrong, and here's Jeff Stewart. Good morning, Stuball. And I hate to say I told you so. <laughs> oh, yeah, you hate it. I bet you hate that. Oh, man. you really hate you know, that. I, I think it was a few months ago as we started this journey. Oh, <laughs> That's what they that's what they say in The Bachelor. That's what they were, you know, we started this journey. So I don't know if we want to hear that one. Okay, yeah, we will we'll take that back. But uh no, I mean, you know, the confidence is uh is definitely there. Um, have we been scared every game? Absolutely. And it's been a, it's been quite the ride, I can say that. But I mean, let's look at this team. I mean, they're defying every odd. And I mean, you look at the, the you, when you say underdog, they have been true, true underdogs. And I mean, now we're moving into a series with Tampa where everybody's going, Stanley Cup favorites. They just, you know, coming back, back to back wins. Um, but you've got some, you know, I think we're going to see, you know, Dave mentioned it a few series ago. Oh, geez, I like saying that a few series ago. I think it was Winnipeg. Yeah, it was Winnipeg. But yeah, you <laughs> can't remember that far back. Anyway. Yeah, it gets, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but you look at Dave, when you said that, you looked at the goaltending battle. And I remember you saying this could potentially be, you know, the best battle that we're going to see between Halibut and Price. And now we're going to maybe this can go down as uh, a Vasilevsky with against Price. Could be huge. Could be one that's uh, rememberable. And uh, when I look at uh, everybody saying, well, the, the Islanders are similar. They are different. Montreal's a different team than the Islanders because Montreal's really, really relied on four lines. Um, the Islanders, they, they, they do top heavy on the top two for sure. Um, when needed. Well, they got a pretty good fourth line, Jeff. They do. Just just like you guys do. You know what I mean? I'm not so. saying, I, I, I just think Montreal really rotates it, though. Like, if you watch the, the, the Habs, it's one after another, and it's just a rotation. Um, where Montreal's in trouble is if they get down. Then, they're, then yeah. they're scrambling because they get out of that system. But if they've been able to play um, their own system, and they're, they're not chasing the gains, like they, you know, in a few that they did. If you watch that first game against uh, Vegas, it was, uh-oh, because they started to chase. And that takes yeah. them right out of the system. So, for the Habs, if they can get going and they can keep playing the, the, the way they have been, I mean, look out, Tam. You're, you're going to be in for a bit of a shocker, I think. Um, and, yeah, and not, not to uh, disrespect the Islanders. I mean, hey, we're looking at a one-goal game difference, right, going into – we could have a Islanders Hab series, which would have been, which might have been a little bit slower to the fans to watch. Might not have seen many goals in that series, but on the other end of that, uh, I love I love uh, Montreal's D and what they're doing, and and the, the you know how scared uh, they are to play against their big big defensemen, and I think it's going to be an interesting to see what uh, Tampa's offense can do and. Every time we go into one of these series, I'm like, holy cow. When we started with the Leafs, with their high-powered young uh, flying forwards, and then you go into Winnipeg. And, and I was, I can't say, you, you know, scared of, of uh, Vegas. I mean, I think, what, were they second in scoring in the league? And uh, you shut them down. So, Sorry. The one thing, and, and we talked about this by the numbers uh, uh, earlier this morning when Dave brought up the uh, the comparison between Patrick Waugh's numbers of, in 93 to what Carey Price is doing, <clears throat> and really the only the, the, the significant difference to me is 
uh, Patrick Waugh had a better team in front of him than, than Carey Price currently does. And yet Carey Price's numbers, aren't they just a little bit better? They're at this a little point? bit better. Yes. Yeah. Just a little like that. That and to Patrick me Patrick Waugh is off the chart too, by the way. Yeah. So, so yeah. when you look at that, like that is, and, and again, you can't discount how important it is that a Carey Price and he's playing, with this ultimate confidence, he doesn't look rattled. In fact, there are times where he makes these saves like it's, oh, have you guys gotten any better than this? Because I, I, I've, I've got lunch. I've got a dinner date in, in about an hour or so if we could hurry this along. Like, it's just so easy for him. He makes it look as, and this is, to me, goes down as one of the best uh, goaltending performances. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say of all time, but if they win a Stanley Cup... If they win a Stanley Cup based on this, I mean, that's not even bother about who we think the, you know, an MVP is, but th- it is, it's deflating for the other team when they seemingly can't get it by the guy. Now that's the one thing in that matchup with goaltending Vasilevsky as good as he can play. He also has at times shown that he's vulnerable. Gary Price right now looks like he's never going to make a mistake. And if they don't get guys in front of him, that's always, you know, people sit there and yell at the TV. You got to get traffic in front of them. You got to get traffic. In front. And the Canadians have not let that happen. I mean, that's the one thing that they have done defensively. That is a very difficult nut to crack. And as much as people want to see a slaughter or, you know, in this area or, or a, a huge mismatch, Montreal simply, and even from a coaching perspective, because people, I mean, I don't, people haven't talked about that that much. If you don't have that philosophy going into it, if you don't have it on the whiteboard, you can't get it done either. So so let's give some credit where credit is due. The coaching staff's done a, um, just an incredible job. Yeah, I agree. And, I mean, and look at this coaching staff. They've had, you know, COVID protocols. They've had to switch and, and uh, not have your head coach in the lineup. I mean, I think I can, you can get away with maybe one game. Okay, your coach isn't there. I mean, they're, they're FaceTiming, they're Skyping, they're – listening to what he has to say. And I mean, it's remarkable. Um, Hey, hey, it's a lot of fun to watch, right? As a fan, I forgot what this was after 28 years to enjoy this and to watch, you know, all my children, including my daughter, throwing on the jersey, excited to watch. It's been huge. And, And I wish this on any Canadian fan out there to have this type of run because it is a beauty. And when the Habs roll through and beat Tampa in six oh. games, oh it is going to blow up in Alberta here. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's like me, Gene. Oh, my goodness. I, so what you're saying is uh, that, that you believe the Montreal Canadiens are going to win in six games and, 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 and they, will, they will be the Stanley Cup winners. Is that what you're telling me here this morning? <laughs> Without a doubt, Mike. I, and I don't want to say this, but I haven't been wrong. Oh, and, oh yeah. This is another thing that's very upset that you yeah, have to say I here this morning. I hate saying this. He's right. Yeah. You know, and usually it's been great when you rewatch some of our uh, chats here and, and I say, oh, I think the Habs will beat Vegas in six. Oh, oh the laughter. Oh, yes. From you, too. Yes. You know, no, just a laugh too. track. That's hey, from you. That's hey, not... you, you people, eh? You people. Like, what's going on? I mean... I mean, yeah. I, I like I tell you said, when we watch back... Yeah. Yeah, when the people are all... There's only one of us that's doing it. Yeah, yeah. The fans. And the fans. Hey. And the fans. Hey. And the hey. fans. Yeah, hey, I've lost a lot of friends over these cities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Like, I'm... It's, it's like, hard, okay? Like... I think you lost a bit. You lost a business partner over these I lost a business partner. Like, I mean, people really said, like, lose my number. Oh. <laughs> you know, I, I text them back and they're like, who is this? Oh, <laughs> not in my phone anymore <laughs> or, or block all you know all of a sudden i've got four facebook friends that's uh, it really dwindled yeah. out the, the only thing the canadians aren't doing that that i did respect in the day that i'd like to see brought back i know it's maybe not popular but i would like to see some more smoking i would like to see the players like that number 10 over your shoulder just you know a couple of butts in between the periods going back to the dressing room <laughs> where half the team's having having smokes hey, I agree. when they're getting off the bus putting the fur coats on right oh yeah oh <laughs> yeah bring that fur coats and smoking what could go wrong there uh, oh long hair oh, i love it oh yeah yeah Beautiful. okay last question for me last question because I, I talked to a Habs fan yesterday that bought a cold caulfield uh jersey he's not doing anything with it because he says he's sending it back to get the stanley cup champion patch on it um mm-hmm. 
is there anything you're going to do? Because obviously your memorabilia, is, this is only a, a small fraction of what the Stuart household looks like because it is, it is awesome. Is there something you're planning or is that something you'll keep under wraps until this is said and done? Yeah, you know what? I, I can't move forward with anything until it's done. And that's yeah. just who I am. It's, it's, it's got to actually happen. And then it's kind of the excitement when you see something. I mean, one, I'm going to say I'm not allowed to buy anything more for the house. As Mike has witnessed that. Yes, I've, I've heard that phrase before. Yes, I have heard that. Charity events. Like we've got the last 15 a, years. You know, safety deposit box and uh, a whole closet full, walk-in closet full of jerseys. Um, but yeah, no, you know what, Dave? I, I, there would be something. And I think yeah. it would probably be something like uh, something unique if, it, if, if we get there. But it's got to, you kind of have to earn it as a fan. That's you know, exactly it. Yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. uh, people should know it was uh, Stu Ball's birthday over the weekend. Happy belated. And, Happy and, belated. And Thank people you. are like, well, what's he going to get for his birthday? What do you think he got for his birthday? <laughs> yeah. Wait, the great, greatest present of all time. I mean, he's celebrating the last two months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this this is the gift right here. Are you kidding? And, and and it's still given. So uh, I'm sure that was a, a nice one. But look, um, I, it, 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 I'm hoping it's an engagement series because every single series has been when we, you know, everyone's thought that it's going to be a mismatch. And on paper, it is. On paper, you look at what Tampa Bay has, all the everything that they have won, the team they put together. So it's supposed to be lopsided. But so were the other three, or at least two of the three were certainly supposed to be lopsided. And one for the first four games was. It just doesn't seem to matter to this team. And when you always have a chance, that's I, I want I want our championship to look like a championship. I don't who wants it. I don't want to see any of this lopsided. And as I said, that coaching staff and and the Canadians themselves haven't allowed anything to look like that, which is why hockey is, you know, one of the great sports in the world. You always have a chance and they're proving it. So uh, I'm thrilled for you, Stu Ball, and also thanks uh, here for this morning. I know this is not the last time we'll be talking, but I do wish your team luck. That's what I'm saying here this morning. Whoa. Yes. Wow, that's yes. very kind words, Mike. And yeah. I, yeah, I don't know what to say. It kind of yeah. caught me off guard saying that's nice thing. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's another Christmas or a, a, a birthday gift. Birthday. Yeah. That was. Yeah. <laughs> there, it truly is yes. a happy birthday. Yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy, you take care. We'll talk to you again very soon. Thanks so much for this morning. Always a lot of fun. Oh, look forward to my next time slot. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is Jeff Stewart from the Restoration Network in Alberta, by the way, if you have some issues, bad rain, hail, uh, uh, flooding. There's only one place to go. Damage. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. if you didn't call these guys, you called the wrong guy.